it's happened. There's a production Bitcoin model that is sub 9.5 joules a terahash or watts per terahash. Bitcoin on average putting out around $50 million in coins to miners every day. And it's been like this for a very long time. A two trillion dollar asset that I bet you wish you could go back in time and buy earlier. Bitcoin mining with an absolutely monolithic Bitcoin miner is the most profitable mining rig in the world right now. Traditionally, this isn't common. Normally, shit coins are topping the mining profitability charts, but they don't stay there long. They really don't. This is the biggest amount of Bitcoin miners topping the chart that I can really think of in recent history. Some of these are huge, though. A device that consumes over 11,000 watts a lot it's a lot of juice 32 bucks a day on that one after you account for electricity bill at seven and a half cents per kilowatt hour which is my rate which by the way hey i'm bosk you're on the Voscoin youtube channel this is the Voscoin mining farm that i've been rapidly expanding building especially on the btc mining front Do you notice something new here? S23 Hydro, S23 Immersion. And we'll talk about the S23 Air Cool too. Bitcoin mining has been very profitable and mining many of these other cryptocurrencies has, has not been that lucrative. And a lot of these minor releases are pretty recent releases or grossly priced to the point that it's scary to get into them because like, oh well, this one you know it makes 16 dollars a day yeah it, and it costs nearly ten thousand dollars to buy on a coin that's relatively sporadic in price and its core value is the fact that it is a meme coin so s23 hydro 580 terahash a second ant miner s23 air cooled 318 terahash a second the s23 immersion 11 or 12 368 or 442 terahash numbers respectively normal efficiency mode high efficiency mode probably wouldn't have been having me these numbers are kind of crazy to see but not as crazy as people are making them out to be you see 11 joules of terahash at 318 watts and i'm going to compare an s21 xp to this with aftermarket firmware shortly before that pricing right so these have already hit resellers and we have an affiliate account with ASIC marketplace we have a coupon code to save some coin i'll link that out down below appreciate when you guys watch our content and support us buying stuff you already wanted by using our link it means everything it helps keep us rolling making content basically nine thousand dollars for this machine and, and this is where it gets way worse eta on delivery january 20 26. No wonder the s21 xp prices have remained high uh, i got most of mine around six grand uh, but they've gone up in price uh, because Bitcoin's recently gone up in price. Depending on if you take an in stock or a delivery next month, you'll pay 7250 before a discount to $6,400 here at current pricing. And this miner has been out for a while. 270 terahash a second at 3,645 watts. Now this is my, this isn't an ad. I don't give a shit about brains or you using them or whatever. I'm just sharing with you my performance. This is pretty bad compared to what I normally see it reporting here in the dashboard. Uh, but I consistently see around 13 watts per terahash or better at a realized hash rate of 280 terahash a second plus. You see right now it's 286. It's reporting about stock power usage. It's about 13 watts a terahash. Uh, so this is about half a watt per terahash better of mining efficiency compared to the stock S21 XP uh, Bitmain firmware or mining software that comes on these devices. And this isn't uncommon at all. And I'll prove that to you. Look at these miners, XP, 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 XP. So I have all these XPs. And if you look at their one day hash rate, I have 286.5, 286, 286, 284, 284, 279, 276, 276, 273. So literally, my worst machine is just doing what it's supposed to be doing. But let's take my top performers, 287, 286, 286. That's not very different than the S23. Obviously the S23 is better, but is it worth an additional couple thousand dollars and waiting over half a year? 
The answer is no. Okay, the standout here though, is gonna be the S23 Hydro. And let's go straight to the source on that one. This is their listed pricing somewhere between 17 and a half and 15 grand. Also, you pay full price on tariffs with them, uh, with the way that they ship. Uh, so on top of this, you'll be paying 25, 30% additional duties here in the US, if not more given the current situation. I literally never order direct from Bitmain because I just get absolutely screwed on uh, the way that they ship and how they push all the duties and taxes on the uh, receiver. Terrible experience ordering direct from them these days. And it's not entirely their fault, uh, you know, it's due to the global situation. But this was an issue before all the recent tariff wars. Furthermore, min quantity 10 and shipping from the beginning of 2026. Cost per terahash 30 to 25 and a half dollars. We recently ran through minor machines and their cost per terahash at different price points. Prices are still pretty comparable to the data here in this sheet uh, that I, I put together almost a month ago. And basically the point is, if you care about the cost per hash, there are significantly better deals than these new machines. And to be frank, if I care so much about efficiency, which I personally do, uh, and I was looking at Bitmain Ant Miners, uh, which I have mixed feelings about. I've had good experiences, I've had bad experiences, I've had hundreds of their machines over the years, and I've had two stuck in their warranty center for like a year. Uh, their warranty process has been so hit or miss, sometimes I get them back in three days, sometimes three months pass and I don't get them back. It's very frustrating. However, the cost per hash on this is even lower right now. I don't know why you wait around for an S23 and, and above all, put your capital on it and pre-order and wait that long at this point when you can just pick up an S21 XP uh, that's not significantly different. Uh, this looks to have the same power supply and I don't know why it wouldn't at that power usage where it can run on single phase electricity. That's one of the big standouts here is that their immersion models only run on three phase electricity. Their hydro models only run on three phase electricity. So if you're not set up for that, you cannot take advantage of that. Looking at the current profitability of the S21 XP, do I have buyer's remorse? Because if you follow the channel, you know, I, I, again, I just got a lot of these in. Uh, I, I don't at all. These are pulling nearly 10 bucks a day for me. It's, it's exciting, it's incredible. It's completely changed the dynamic of my Bitcoin mining operation. Uh, very expensive to get into without a pump. Um, I mean, I'm seriously looking at like two years just to actually be in the green on this. Uh, so it's expensive. It's a bold move. It's I hope it works out. I think it will and believe it will. But if you have a good electricity rate, some of the other manufacturers are just crushing it. I'll drop a link to these two that support the channel if you grab any of these. But look at this. $13 a terahash, $12 a terahash, $9.9 .9 a terahash. Yes, less efficient than the other minor models we're talking about. But if you say have solar that's offsetting your bill for these, or you have a very cheap electricity rate, if you get more hash for the money, that's actually the better move, right? Maybe I would be better off investing in a solar system and then just buying one of these and I get 162 terahash, brand new machine with warranty and all that stuff. $1,600. These are spot, these, these are in stock, ready to ship. And Canon keeps a lot of stock in the US, which is pretty cool, pretty useful, especially in these turbulent times. I get a lot of questions about cloud mining. Is it good, is it bad, is it, is it a scam? Uh, this is an alternative to that. We reviewed Siberian Mine a while ago and I want to do a follow up on it. I also want to remind you that Bosscoin does not offer cloud mining. BossCoinNet is a scam website that we have taken down and then they go to a different registrar and fire it back up. And these scam bags have some good SEO because they compete with us for top results when you search BossCoin. And it's so frustrating and disheartening when I, I see people get scammed by this. So I'm sorry to waste your time with a warning, uh, but BossCoin.net is a scam, okay? The end. Still need to finish our website revamp. I just never have enough time in the day, I guess, but I don't know, it's an excuse, right? Uh, so uh, I was running an S21 here for a while. You can see the, t the time periods here uh, from mining and then earnings and the payouts. And uh, the coolest thing about this is look at the value on most of these. 
Some of them have substantial improvement. And that's really what I'm banking on with my own personal mining farm. And, I, and really most of my other Bitcoin endeavors because you know, you look at the next three months, one year projection, it may not be that lucrative. It may not be that exciting, but let's say it doubles in price. Would it have been worthwhile then? It completely changes the return. And obviously nobody knows, whatever, uh, but it's an asset that's doing well and, and keeps going up. I tested out withdrawal from their platform. Uh, I tested out selling a machine. Uh, I've tested everything on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy back into this uh, A566. And you can see just how quick and easy that was, right? I had already deposited into my account. I showed that a while ago. This is not cloud mining. This is just a self-serve kiosk of a hosted mining farm. It does kind of trend towards cloud mining vibes with their options to buy fragmented Terahash a second. Uh, so uh, to be honest, I don't like that. I would like to only have a system where you're buying whole miners and if you wanted it shipped to you, that you could just have it shipped to you for 200 bucks or whatever it is. Based on your balance, you get a hosting bonus and things like that. Uh, but they've been around a while. Uh, they've been around, I believe, over seven years. Uh, I've talked to the owner, they sponsor Mining Disrupt. But I simply just wanted to share an update because we talk about a lot of things on the channel. And moving forward, I wanna spend more time doing follow-ups and updates on okay like, like that looked cool then but you know a month later six months later a year later how did it really pan out so hey i'm boss here on the bosco on youtube channel i hope you subscribe and stick around uh just here to learn more and more uh share my crazy crypto journey with you guys and i uh, just keep pushing forward i'm gonna keep working on the farm i'm gonna keep working on projects i'm gonna keep chasing the dream and uh hope to achieve financial freedom i hope to Hit 1 million subscribers and hope to just have some fun. I hope to just leave my mark uh, in this world, in the sector, whatever, uh, the best I can. And uh, if any of that resonates with you, I, I hope you stick around. Appreciate you. Good luck. See you next time.